Hello everybody, welcome back to Viking Lord Racing. Today we're going to be racing here in Turkey at Istanbul Park. And uh, the last time F1 raced here, I think it was 2021. So we're going to see if modern Formula 1 cars can uh, really make an interesting race here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are as Logan Sargent in his Williams FW24, I think, or 23. And we're going to see if we can get a good start here. And... Looking like an average start, but I think in the second stage, we're going to catch up to the pack here. And I don't really want to go down the inside, but I do anyway. And I think Lando Norris is going to try and go... Oh, I sort of had a bit of contact there with Valtteri Bottas, so that wasn't very good. And uh, I almost lost the car, but I think both of us have managed to make it through unscathed. And it gets very crazy here in this sequence of corners. And I I punt George Russell out of my way. That wasn't very good. But I think with the slipstream here, we're going to have a good chance of getting by him. And there we go. We are now passing Lewis Hamilton and maybe Carlos Sainz. Carlos Sainz is a bit too out of reach. And we spin around as we make contact with Carlos Sainz, the Ferrari factory driver. And uh, we are now in 18th place, and I think he's going for a move which is going to slow him down significantly. So we're going to try and launch one up the inside here, and that is pretty successful. And Oscar Piastri is right in front of us. He gets a pretty good exit, so we're going to try and chase him down this straight here. If we maximize our exit, that will be pretty good. And I almost lose the car as we tag him right on his left rear tire, and that puts us even further back. So Oscar Piastri goes wide there, so that permits us to get by him pretty easily. Um, so now we're on to Lewis Hamilton. It feels like I've had to pass him already at least once. And we definitely have. And we're going to go around the outside here of this really quick left-hander section. And I don't think we're really going to have enough speed. I think if we use all our power, we're going to be able to make a move here on the same place we did last, last, uh, last uh, lap. So there we go. He's going to hit us. He is, but it looks like we just had the advantage there. So now we're on to Carlos Sainz. Chase him down, chase him down. And is he, is he going to go defensive? No, he's not. So we get by him pretty, pretty easily. And now we're on to the super sub, Nico Hulkenberg. And we're going to go around the outside of him, actually. Is that going to work? It does work. Really, that's surprising. I haven't tried to move there. And I think I go a little bit too wide, so that's going to allow him to get around us. Potentially, if he has enough speed, but I don't think he is. Now on to Nick DeVries, of course. Uh, he left us halfway through the 2023 season. Uh, did he deserve it? Did he not? Who knows? But one thing I know is we're going to get by him pretty, pretty easily right here. Um, and maybe if I'm pretty good on the brakes, we can get by him in this next corner. And are, are we going to get by him? We're not going to get... Oh, we are going to get by him. That's pretty, pretty good. I wasn't expecting that. I thought he got a better exit, but I think he got too much on the curb, which slowed him down, especially since it's AstroTurf. And now we're on to Esteban Alcon and Yuki Sonoda, who are actually fighting it out right now, going side by side in that super fast left-hander section. And this is going to allow us to really catch up to the pair of them. And we're going to go zigzag between them. And now we're on to our teammate, Alex Albon. Oh, shoot. I outbraked it there. And I used a bit too much throttle, so that was a very, very bad section for me. He goes wide, so that might be a factor, but now I'm being pinched in by uh, Fernando Alonso and Carlo and uh, Charles Leclerc. So, are we going to get by him? Yes, we are, but now we have to uh, worry about our defense. Uh, not really, since we're, we've managed to gap him out about half a second. But I go a little bit wide there, so that's going to bring him back into the equation. Whoa, that was I. That was really early braking from uh, Esteban Ocon, was it? Or no, it was Pierre Gasly. I was not expecting him to break that late, so we are now in 11th place. So we're going to have to make up quite a bit of time if we want to finish on the podium here in Istanbul. And we're going to get by Zhou Renyu pretty easily here, as you can see. And now we have Alex Albon in our sights. We're going to outbreak him here, just watch, because I break way later than the AI do. And there we go, we're by him, and now we have Yuki Sonoda, of course the only Japanese driver on the grid right now. And we're gaining tons of time as we're in our uh, ERS deploying mode, but we're going to have to put that back into build as we don't want to lose too much energy 
so we can save for the last few, uh, the last lap. So now we have Esteban Ocon in front of us. Of course, a driver, not a great driver. Always important to make that distinction. And uh, then we have Lance Stroll in front of us, who isn't really even a driver. I would classify him more as a crasher. But we're going to try and not crash into him and maybe go around the outside. Are we going to go down the inside here? Yes, we are. Outside again, maybe. Oh, it works pretty well, doesn't it? That's a really good. That's a really good place to go around the outside because it sort of uh, minimizes how fast the other drivers can be on the straight. Okay, so we of course have the Monegasque driver Charles Leclerc in front of us in his Ferrari, and I think we'll be able to catch up to him in this in this middle sector. He's about a second in front of us, and we have quite a bit of ERS in our car right now. So I think if we deploy it here, we're going to get a really, really good chance into the next braking zone to get by him. So we're gaining, 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 gaining. I don't think I can So now we have one of the best drivers of all time, Fernando Alonso, in front of us. And we're going to chase him down. We're going to get by him pretty easily. But now we have to go into build mode to uh, really save up for this, this last lap here. So... As we uh, start our final lap here, we are in fourth place, I would say about five seconds behind the leader, Max Verstappen, and we're going to go into attack mode to hopefully attack these leaders here. We have Sergio Perez and Lando Norris between me and Max Verstappen, so I think these drivers, we can get by them in the first and second middle sectors, and I think Max Verstappen is going to be left for the last few corners. So this is really coming down to a wire, and we're going to make a dive into this right here and we're going to squeeze him by and there you go now we have lando norris in front of us okay can we buy get by him yes we can and now our only goal is max verstappen who is about 2.5 seconds ahead are we going to be able to get by him i'm not quite sure but can we try yes logan Sargent is on the podium for his first time in his formula one career wow that was beautiful well, hopefully you guys liked that short little video here in Istanbul. Um, I thought it was pretty exciting to see these Formula 1 cars race around such a great track. And honestly, I think Istanbul Park should really have its own place on the calendar every year. So if you guys enjoyed that, please like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.